Hello guys and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Um, now I have been playing this game, well I played it quite a lot when it first came out. Um, I've not bothered with it in quite a while actually to be honest, I've kind of neglected it uh, quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to kick off with where I left off, um, which I can't actually remember where that was to be honest. Um, I'll basically all I was doing was um, the jobs that you're getting through your phone which is, can be anything from oil changes, brake changes, any other parts like that just to earn some bumps, earn some money um, so I can expand my garage and obviously then go to auction, um, buy cars and restore them and then sell them on which obviously is where most money is made so if I remember right, we've got no car in here at the moment. Our garage is still fairly small. We've only got the one uh, lift. So if I bring my phone up and look at the orders. So this is the story. That's the story car. Bought this car from a dealer. It wasn't the cheapest, but supposedly it was a good deal. The problem is that it's very difficult to shift through the gears. Sometimes something bangs on the left side and the right side too. Check the general condition of the car and repair whatever you find broken. The deal ensured me that everything is nearly brand new. Okay, so obviously the gears, that's going to be the gearbox, maybe the clutch that will need looking at and changing. And then you've got uh, the banging on either sides, which will probably more than likely be something suspension, uh, drop links, track rod ends, that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll pick this car up, even though it is the story mode car, which usually tend to be a bit more of a nightmare to repair. Um, we'll move it to, to lift A, and let's get it up a little bit, shall we? Um, let's do the, let's deal with the gearbox first. Not sure I've got what I've got to take out actually. Um, so here we are on the gearbox. We've got a few parts in our way, mainly being the drive shaft and wow, well, okay, so let's take off the wheel. One thing I do like about this is that it makes it fairly uh, fairly simple to take out parts. Why well, can't I take the drive shaft up? I've got to do it on the side now. Okay, hopefully this should be fairly a fairly simple job. I'm hoping. I don't like it when get stuck on jobs for ages for axle ok so that's out and let's go back to well that looks shagged to me front drive shaft and gearbox what can I starter why can't I take the starter accessible from engine bay well, that's just a nightmare. Let's have a quick look. Inventory. I don't know why I've got an oil filter in there for or some really old brake pads. Obviously, the front, the shafts, and the axle um, both need replacing. We'll drop it down to the other side. Access the starter motor. Which, for some reason, is inaccessible by uh, underneath it, which I don't really understand. And now we've got to go back to lift the car back up to be able to access the gearbox. Okay, so the gearbox in general, you can usually tell the sort of condition that the engine parts are in judging by the colour, the clutch looks knackered as well as does the release bearing. Take the clutch pressure plate away, that will need replacing. No questions there. Um, 
the flywheel is probably going to need replacing as well. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all that off. Now we need to order some parts. Let's have a look at our inventory. Okay, so we need front drive axle C. We need two and a drive shaft. So I'll order them first. Front drive axle C and the drive shaft. Okay, main shop. Uh, front drive axle C. Oh, no, X. C. And we're going to order two of them. And then uh, drive shaft. Let me just double check which one it was that I needed so I can sell those so I do not need them anymore front drive shaft uh, front drive shaft that's what I needed ok uh, gearbox ok well how does it come up under yeah I just need a gearbox I uh, need a flywheel, clutch release bearing, clutch pressure plate. And is it always all on word, isn't it? That's why it's not coming up. Okay, it's gearbox 13. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Uh, clutch. I need the pressure plate. Release bearing. And flywheel. Damn, this is an expensive job, and this is in, this is the half of it as well. We've got uh, quite a lot to do yet. Part mounts, so we've got a flywheel, which obviously we're going to put the new one on. Uh, then we've got the clutch plate, which is in okay condition, not the best. If this was real life, I'd probably get that the actual clutch replaced as well but it looks okay for this well, this car and new release bearing gearbox can go back on oh, oh no we've wasted 800 bucks it's number it was number 14 god damn where's my inventory no I don't need part notes inventory Gearbox 13. Oh, selling it back for 400. Just lost 400 bucks. Because I got, I picked the wrong one. Damn it. Gearbox 14. That's annoying. And it's, it's cheaper box as well. It just makes things even worse. Um, where am I going? Part mounts. Gearbox 14. Now obviously we now need to put the drive shaft back in. Put the brand new drive shaft in. Front axle. And new front axle. And we're not going to do the wheel yet because I've got a feeling there's going to be some other stuff that needs doing. Wrong side, I've already been here. Like, for instance, this inner tie rod uh, is going to need placing. Okay, so let's see if we can get this off. The outer tie rod, tie rod end, these are also known as the track rods. Steering rack looks like it needs replacing potentially. Maybe just the lower suspension arm. Um, let's have a look at the lower suspension arm actually. I need to unlock the perk where I can inspect parts without removing them. Suspension arm is fine. 
I'm going to dash off the broken parts. I need to put the starter back on. So I need. Uh, I can get rid of that. Um, I need to get. Oh no, the lower suspension arm is done. But I have one already, which I can bang on. The steering rack needs changing. Uh, so I need two outer tie rods, um, two inner tie rods. Um, this size low suspension arm seems okay. Doesn't look damaged. So uh, tie rod. Two of them. After tie rod, two of them. Um, was it st steering rack? Wasn't it? I believe. If not, I've just wasted another 800 bucks because I can't be bothered to go and check it. Mount parts. Yeah, steering rack. Put the brand new steering rack on. Damn, this guy is going to be wishing he never bought this car. Okay. These bushes are in okay condition. Uh, put it in a tyre rack. And then the tyre rod end. And we repeat on the other side. I'm going to leave the wheel off just for now. That was the side I've just done, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? No. No. That's the side. Let's go around here. It would be very it'd be a lot easier if you could do this in real life, wouldn't it? Just appear through the vehicle. Um, and then put that back on. And I believe we should be done now. Let me just check for I No, we've got Oh wow Wow, there's a lot wrong with this car. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Let's get rid of the stuff I don't need. I'm hoping that the stuff I'm putting back on that's hitting sixty percent um is okay to be putting back on car status. Pair with minimal parts condition. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot wrong with this car. Damn, you should never have bought this. <laughs> this has been a waste of money. Okay, so there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot wrong with this car. Let's strip the brakes. Feeling's going to be um, brakes, discs, brake pads need replacing. Have a look to see at the other side. This is the only problem with the story mode cars. Take this off. In case this, uh, god damn, give me it. Selection, there we go. We'll get there eventually. Wow, uh, front steering knuckle looks worse, worse wear. Damn it, this is gonna be a long job. I'll take the shocks out, which means I've got to take the... That's not where I wanted to go, is it? I'll take the shock out just for this. Uh -oh. oh, now I've got to take the... I really should have looked into this further. I should have checked at the very start to see if this, if this doesn't hit the place. Now. 
now it does. Front axle knocker cover needs changing as well. So I need two brake pads. Uh, uh, front. See if it comes up like that. What was it called again? Front axle knocker cover. And oh god, bright calipers done is done as well. Um, front steering knuckle A. Front steering knuckle A. Um, caliper. Um, front steering knuckle cover or is it just steering knuckle cover ok let's just find out this exact now front axle knuckle cover close uh, front axle knuckle cover ok Car status. Get off. Car status. We discovered a few more things. I believe, judging by the look of the rest of this section, I am safe to put this all back together and I won't. I won't have anything else in this area. needs doing um, yeah on we go on we go probably gonna look under the engine by next Put the discs back on even though it doesn't look the best of condition And I believe now that we can put the let's put the bearing back in first. Oh well. Okay. What am I missing? Why can't I? Oh wow, well, I can examine it. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Why can't I put the wheel back on? Oh, yes. I was tired. Of course. There we go. Put these back up. Put the wheel back on. Okay. Let's go and do the other side. back together. Put the discs back on. Caliper back on. Wheel back on. Okay, so done a lot of work so far. Um, we've changed suspension components, brakes, the gearbox has been completely changed and as you can see there are still a lot of issues remaining. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for this video and in the next one we will continue with this vehicle and hopefully we can get it all sorted. I mean, we've already spent um, 
$2,920. That's mainly my fault because I bought the wrong gearbox, so I wasted $800 myself. Um, so that was that was my fault really, but there we go. So this looks like we're going to be cutting even with this one. But this is that, that is it for this video. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, until the next time, thank you for watching.